hello everyone in this tutorial today we shall be learning how to create result broadsheet in excel this course sheet will be programmed to auto fill the total percentage scores and grades to get started open your excel worksheet you put in the necessary headings so we put in the name of the school We we'll go to the next row and type in result broadsheet. Now the next one, we we'll merge these three cells together. Click on merge and center. We we'll go to the next one. We we'll merge three cells together. Then the third one, we we'll merge the three cells together. This first one is serial number. The second one is names of students. And then the third one is reg number. We match those. So in this place, we put in English, you can put any subject you want, but this is the one I'm using for this tutorial, Mathematics, Chemistry, Geography, Biology and Physics. Then we put the task score here, average score, grades, and finally remarks. We highlight the range, select borders, click on all borders. This will give border within the range. We merge and center the name of the school. Merge and center this one. Then we merge and center. We put in here courses, scores, grades. So having done this, we click on this one, uh, wrap the text. Click on this, wrap text. We reduce this one. We put in the serial numbers. I like the two. Hold down and drag to fill up the space. We put in the names of the students here. So, in order not to take more time, let me copy and paste and fill up the names, registration number. Then we we'll continue. So, I have put in the names and their registration number. I double click here so that they will fit in. I click here, increase the name of the school and bold it. Click on this one. I highlight the headings, bold it. I put colors to make it outstanding. You can choose any color you want or you may leave it without colors, but I prefer using the colors so that once anybody look at it, they will know that it is a special kind of document. So now we put in their scores for every subject. So having put in the scores, it's now to check their grades. So to get their grades, we come to this cell, then we put equal sign, we can use here so that we can see it very well equals if open bracket d6 is greater than 69 then it's a if open bracket d6 is greater than 59 then it's b 
if d6 is greater than 49 then we press enter so we can see that here we have a so we are not going to fill in the same thing again putting in the formulas all we have to do is click on this one then come to this place as a turn to this black plus sign we we'll double click to fill up the rest of the places now we are not going to be doing the formula again what you have to do is to come to this very first one use ctrl c to copy it to copy the formula then we'll go to where we want to paste the formulas and use ctrl v to paste it in different cells that we want them to be so having pasted them at the top cells we want them to be we we'll double click to have it auto fill the rest of the cells now having filled in the grades so we want to get the total scores we put equal sign some open bracket we pick the cells we want the scores so we'll click on the first one these are the cells we want to have their scores then we'll close the bracket and press enter so we have gotten the total score for jerry mark we we'll double click to fill up the rest to get the average, we come to the column, we put equal sign, we type in average, then we select the cells we want to cover. we we'll close bracket and press enter. This is the average score for each subject by mark. We we'll double click to cover the rest of the places. Now to fill in the grades, we come to this place. We use Ctrl C to copy. Then we use Ctrl V to paste. What we are going to do is we come to here. Instead of A, we put in distinction here. And finally here we have fail. We press enter we click on it as a plus sign appear in black color we double click to fill up the rest we double click here as well to have everything fitted in to this end we highlight our broad sheets we click here to center everything so everything is centered and it looks beautiful i hope you try preparing this for your students we have come to the end of this tutorial today hope you enjoyed it if you did please like this video subscribe to my channel click the bell icon so youtube will notify you once i drop a new video and don't forget to share this video with family and friends have a wonderful day